Hi guys, welcome back to this channel and if it's your first time to come across this channel, consider subscribing. Support this channel by subscribing. By the way, do not forget to hit that notification bell. You'll be updated when I upload a new video. In today's video, we are still looking at what you call the Kuwait labor laws. And remember, Kuwait is one of the Middle, of Middle East or Gulf countries that has become a favorite destination for people of different nationalities going to work or looking for money or bread at the end of it all. Remember, each of these Gulf countries have different labor laws according to their country. And remember, when we are looking at the labor laws, these labor laws are not only put to infringe workers, but also to protect the workers and the employer. Such that there is an immutual, what you call a mutual relationship that governs the employer and the employee at a given time. And today's video, we are going to look at the employment contract in Kuwait. Then we are also going to look at what you call employment contract and what you call the probation period in Kuwait. Remember, we've talked about other Gulf countries and their probation period. But today's video, we want to look at the employment contract and the probation period in Kuwait. Remember, before we talk about the probation period, we need to understand the contract. We have what we call a definite contract and we also have what we call a definite contract in Kuwait. When we talk about a definite contract in Kuwait, we are looking at a contract that is three years. Then when we talk about indefinite contract in Kuwait, we are talking about a contract that is beyond three years. Depending on what agreement did you have or what agreement you had as you signing your contract with your, your sponsor or your employer at one moment of time. But remember, if we are talking about the probation period, there's something that you need to understand. When you are signing the contracts, most of some of the contracts or your employer may have that clause of how long is going to be your probation period. And what are you supposed to do? So as you get to sign most of these contracts coming for contracts for work, especially from the Gulf countries, you must thoroughly read and understand. Take your time, read and understand what are the clauses, what governs this contract. If I'm supposed to resign, at what time am I supposed to return? Am I given food? Am I given transport? What are my working hours? Those are most things that you need to consider and look at. Because they will all be stipulated. Look at end of service models. Look at vacation tickets. They will all be, have to be speculated in what we call the contract. But remember, the probation period, if there is no clause in your contract, then, according to Article 32 of the Kuwait Labor Law, the probation period of the worker shall be specified in the contract. And this should be uh, not more than 100 working days. That is according, according to uh, the Kuwait Labor Law. If that one is speculated or it's written down in your contract, then the probation period are uh, working days or the probation period in Kuwait shall not be more than what we call 100 working days. That's what we need to understand. Because remember, why is there the probation period? Most of, most of the time, if people are under probation period, there's what we call medical checkups. There's also uh, the employer will check because they need to check your medical. Then the also employer will also look at the uh, employment, the employee's performance under those periods, under that period, it will be enough for, uh, enough for him or her to study the employment progress or to study uh, the kind of person he's going to deal with. Still, we may not look at the employer himself alone, but also let us look at the employee. What is the, what is the use of the, the probation period to you? It is that it will enable you to closely understand the company that you're going to work with. If you are willing to go on, then you will stay. If you are not willing, then you will not stay in the company. That is why they always what you call probation period. But remember, someone asked a question. What should I do if I would like to leave my probation period? 
what should you do but illia but legally speaking uh, but legally speaking everyone is allowed to resign and you have the right to go or resign even if you are still under the probation period you can move you can go but in a theoretical part of it all a theoretical part of it all speaking you are allowed to leave but how are you leaving that employer or that company you supposed to notify that person you supposed to employ you are supposed to uh, notify your employer depending on how much a notice period you're supposed to give him you let this employer that I'll be leaving your company with the notice period given that should be a very good way and how am i going to do it it is through writing you write a letter addressing it to the human resource or anyone the concerned party still you can also write what you call an official email letting your employer or your human resource department know that in the next three months you'll be quitting your work that is what you call the formal way of resigning so remember the best thing to do when you resign it is submitting a written or what you call a formal email to the people that or the, to the sponsor or to the people that are leading you because if you in your same shoes you are in the company you are the manager it will not be look for person that you paid for visa or you live in a paid ticket and he wants to resign or wants to move uh, without your permission but remember still something that i need to remind you that in kuwait you need to have the permission of your employer before you can exit hope that is very clear you need to have a letter that a release letter that is going to be given to you before you can exit Thank you so much for coming back to this channel. Thank you so much for supporting this channel. Remember, it's Max from the Max Creation Team. See you again as we try to look for more opportunities. We try to look at more of these Gulf countries.